Hi, I'm Aliki Tiklaki, an Academic Clinical Fellow in Orthodontics in the University of Manchester, United Kingdom. I would like to discuss the recent research I completed under the guidance of Professor Kevin O'Brien looking at outcome measures in orthodontics, which is published in this month's American Journal of Orthodontics. The selection of appropriate outcomes is a critical part of any clinical trial because the study is only as relevant as the outcomes that it reports. Selecting inappropriate outcomes can lead to wasted resources and research that potentially misses the benefits of an intervention. So if we are to provide research that is meaningful, it is vital that we include outcomes relevant to all stakeholders, including our patients. The question I therefore wanted to address was whether orthodontic research outcomes published in recent randomized control trials were reflective of patient values. We carried out a systematic review of the latest orthodontic literature and we aim to include all prospective randomized control trials that involved orthodontic interventions in children with no restrictions placed on the journal of publication. We identified all outcomes that were measured in the RCTs and classified them into predetermined outcome domains using the methods suggested by Sina et al who propose that outcomes measured in RCTs that include children should be considered under the following six domains. Measures of disease activity, physical consequence of disease, functional status, family outcomes and quality of life, adverse effects of therapy, and health resource utilization. From the 133 RCTs that were included in our review, we found that 63% of trials incorporated outcomes measuring morphological changes of malocclusion. 32% were concerned with measuring outcomes relating to health resource utilization. 32% were concerned with outcomes measuring adverse effects of treatment. 9% were concerned with quality of life outcomes. 8% were concerned with outcomes relating to functional status. And 2% were concerned with outcomes relating to physical consequence of malocclusion. The domain of disease activity was consistently the highest represented domain across the five-year period, with all other domains being represented in less than 50% of the studies. We also found that within each of these domains, the outcome measures that were used to measure similar outcomes were diverse. In summary, it seems that in a substantial amount of current research, the results reported are mostly relevant to providers of care and not necessarily of value to our patients. Further research to determine which are the most important outcomes to measure in trials of orthodontic interventions, taking into account the perspectives of both patients and clinicians is therefore necessary. The development of accrued standardized core outcome sets for orthodontic trials would overcome issues relating to outcome heterogeneity, would enable high quality synthesis of evidence, and will most likely involve outcomes that are relevant to patients. I would like to thank my research supervisor, Professor Kevin O'Brien, and thank you for your attention.